Paul said, you're criticizing us. You're finding fault with us. But you need to examine yourself. Are you in the faith? And when you read that text, the implication there should be sobering to you. Because you can go to church and read the letters to the church and not even know who Jesus is. You know about Jesus, but you're not in relationship with Jesus. You know things about Jesus, but you're not personally in relationship with him. You know about Jesus intellectually, but you don't know about him personally. You got your church shirt on, you got your Bible under your arm, but you're so far removed from Jesus because now you sit around and you examine everybody else. You examine everybody else. You examine everything that's going on in the church. And you're like, you set yourself up as the law and order of the church. And that's out of order. And that's not right. And this isn't right. And the whole time, you've got this huge two by four sticking out your own eye. <laughs> examine ourselves. Finding fault with ourselves. And I think y'all could agree with this statement. I think we live in a world that is very aware of everyone else. Anybody agree with that? Man, we know what's going on in everybody else's life. Let me tell you why, I like, why a lot of people like to know what's going on in everybody else's lives, okay? Because this is church, so I'm going to talk about church stuff. You know why people like to hear gossip? They like to hear the weaknesses of other people to make themselves feel better about their own. <laughs> 